For any superhead radio, the way it rejects the image response is particularly important. The main challenge in design for superhead radios is that as well as the uh, desired station frequency, uh, because a local oscillator is used, there is also another frequency on which receive, re reception is possible, um, the image frequency, and it's necessary to filter out uh, that frequency in the design of the receiver. In view of the importance of the image response, in this video we're going to look at what the image is, why it occurs, how it can be rejected, and finally we'll take a look at the specifications. So keep tuned. As the image is such a critical issue within the radio, let's take a look at why it occurs. Imagine there's a receiver with an intermediate frequency of 0.5 MHz, and let's take the example of an incoming signal at 1.0 MHz and a local oscillator running at 1.5 MHz. When the two signals enter the mixer, they produce an output at 0.5 MHz, and this can pass through the intermediate frequency amplifier and filter. However, there's also another signal that can produce an output at 0.5 MHz. In this case, a signal at 2.0 MHz will also produce an output at 0.5 MHz when mixed with the local oscillator. This means that there are two signals that can enter the intermediate frequency stage, one at 1.0 MHz and the other at 2.0. The unwanted signal is called the image signal. It's worth noting at this stage that each received signal that enters the IF is separated from the local oscillator by a frequency equal to that of the intermediate frequency. This also means that the wanted signal and the image are separated from each other by a frequency equal to twice that of the IF. The unwanted image signal must be removed, otherwise it will give rise to interference. To remove it, a tuned circuit is added before the mixer to only accept the wanted signal. Normally an amplifier is also added here to provide some gain before the mixer. When tuning the receiver, the local oscillator and the RF tuning must move together, or track as it's called. This was achieved in early radios by having a twin gang variable tuning capacitor. Modern radios will use electronic forms of tuning, but these must also track together. Coming up we're going to explain how the unwanted image response is removed as far as possible. We've seen that RF tuning is used to reduce the level of the image, so to improve it still further, some radios used two stages of RF tuning with an amplifier between them. While this approach does work, it can become increasingly difficult to make sure all the stages track together, especially if the radio tunes over a wide band. Another way is to increase the frequency of the IF stage. We saw before that the image signal is removed from the wanted signal by twice the IF frequency. So, by increasing the intermediate frequency, the wanted signal and the image response can be sufficiently far apart for the RF filter to give a much better reduction of the image response. To achieve this, sometimes a double or even triple conversion superhead may be used. The first IF is at a higher frequency to give good rejection of the image, and then the second conversion takes the signal down to a low frequency fixed IF where the signals on adjacent channels can be removed more easily. Now we need to look at how the image response is defined in the specification for the radio. The image rejection of a receiver will be specified as the ratio in decibels between the receiver response for the wanted and image frequencies. This will be specified for a certain operating frequency. For example, it may be 60 dBs at 30 MHz. This means that if signals of the same strength were present on the wanted frequency and the image frequency, then the image signal would be 60 dBs lower than the wanted one. The frequency at which the measurement is made also has to be included. This is because the level of rejection will vary according to the frequency in use. Typically it gets worse as the received frequency increases. For more information on superhet image response and other related topics, check out the description area for useful links, and please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and like the video.